A constant can change. Same universe, different zoom. And suddenly a force gets louder or quieter. So what's the hidden rule that tells you which way it goes? In quantum physics, the strength you measure for a force isn't just one fixed number. It depends on the scale you're probing at, what physicists call the renormalization scale. That's why people say couplings run. And the beta function is basically the slope of that running. It encodes how a coupling changes as you change the scale, often written as change versus ln mu. Quick warning, the sign details can depend on conventions and definitions. So instead of getting lost in sign drama, anchor it to the most famous real-world example. QCD, the theory of the strong force, does something that sounds backwards. At higher energies, the strong coupling gets smaller. That's asymptotic freedom. But the same story flips when you go the other direction. At lower energies, the strong interaction becomes stronger, and this behavior is related to confinement, the reason we don't see free quarks in nature. So scale-dependent doesn't mean physics is random. It means your effective description changes with resolution. While the renormalization group gives you a systematic way to connect those descriptions across scales. That's the beta function, the force's volume knob slope. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.